how to start aquaponics. How do you, what do you, what do, you do? What do you start with? How do you work it out? You know, it's so easy for us to look at someone's aquaponic system and go, that's it, I'm, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And we start researching and there's so much information out there and how do you know that who you're listening to knows their stuff? Is this someone who they've had a system running, an aquaponic system running for three months and that it's totally crashed? How do you know that they've got any form of experience, knowledge, training or, or, or what? Well, a bit of research should be able to tell you that information. But um, the biggest thing that I'm going to say, and this is someone who has studied four years worth of aquaculture, worked in the industry, major aquariums, done all of that sort of stuff, been within aquaponics for over 14 years, the best advice that I will give you is to say, start small. A little barrel aquaponics system like this is one of the best ways of having a small investment. So I built this for under 300 bucks. And I can actually do it cheaper than that, just saying, but just buying everything new straight off 300 bucks. I was able to buy that, build this within a couple of hours, and considering I had to record everything that I was doing, it would take someone who doesn't know how to do it a little bit longer than that, but it still shouldn't take you more than, you know, four or five hours maximum if you know nothing about what you're doing. But building a small little aquaponic system, just like a barrel system, and there are various different designs, and if you want to know how I do this, it is in my channel on the how to build a barrel aquaponics system. It's one of the best ways of starting because you're replicating a bigger system. So if you're wanting to start off, say, with an aquarium inside, generally our indoor aquariums are based on what's pretty. So we've got wood and we've got gravel and we've got rocks and we've got the filter and then we're adding the aquaponics part on top, which means we don't do water exchanges, which is awesome but there's less fish in our aquariums inside. <clears throat> Whereas in an aquaponic system, the whole point is we're replicating nature and we are controlling and looking after and managing nature while we're at it. So we have more fish growing in our fish tank and we grow more vegetables. We're actually building a garden, an aquaponics garden, which is amazing. It's incredible how nature works, isn't it? But if you start off with an actual barrel aquaponic system rather than an indoor aquarium, and please, if you know nothing about it and you want to start that way, do. I have videos showing you how to do that too. And I have several inside. <laughs> it's not a waste of time. It's just a little bit different. So it depends on your intention. If you're wanting to be self-sufficient as possible with aquaponics, so you're wanting to go to a larger system, I keep pointing that direction because my bigger system's that way. So if you're wanting a larger aquaponic system where you are growing your food, your fish to eat, so fish food, food fish, either way, if you're wanting to do that and you're wanting to grow lots of veggies, then start off with a small little barrel system that you can build for under a few hundred dollars. It'll take you a few hours to build. Very, very easy. You need a jigsaw. You need a hacksaw to be able to cut the piping. You need a drill with a hole saw on it. And you need the piping that goes with it and a pump. It's very, very simple, no big scary tools or equipment, and you can easily build this. Once you've built it, do, do not just go and add the fish in. You do need to learn how to colonize your ecosystem with the appropriate bacteria, which bacteria is all around us. This is nitrifying bacteria, which will naturally come into your system. Again, how to cycle your aquaponic system. There's a video there that will show you how to do that and what it means but it's colonizing our aquaponic system, which means that any of the ammonia that the fish produce is then converted into fertilizer for our veggies, and our veggies are then able to filter the water for the fish in the ecosystem. We need to colonize that bacteria before we add the fish. The perfect little system to start with. Build it, get your confidence going, understand how it works, understand your water quality, how that works, understand how to look after fish, understand how to base on, you know, how many plants can I be growing based on the amount of fish waste that I've got, which is all about your nitrate. Again, water quality. And there are videos on that on my channel on how to work out your water quality. Once you've got that going and you've been successful for a few months, 
expand on your barrel system. Or if, if you want to go bigger, go bigger. But at least you know, hey, I've been really successful at having this work. Let's move on to my next step. If you invest thousands of dollars in a larger aquaponics system and you don't know how it works and you've invested money buying food fish, so fish that you can eat, or even just you've bought everything new or you've, you've got the wrong plumbing or you've, you've not quite got the right equipment, you could have wasted thousands of dollars. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like the thought of losing and wasting thousands of dollars. By building a small little system, you can understand the piping, the fittings, how it all works together, the importance of not having um, elbow bends, especially for a larger system. You can understand how important flow is within your aquaponic system. So when you're building a bigger system, you can understand the importance of being able to get the equipment that you're wanting, to be able to make sure you've got the right fittings and things like that. It helps you to understand what you need to be able to move forward. Isn't that amazing? You can start small and go bigger. And in doing a small little system for, like this, you could be growing all of the herbs that you're wanting, having them here, giving you more room for a bigger system elsewhere. A great little project for the kids to be able to look after. How amazing! They have fish that are pets, and they can learn how an ecosystem works and how to grow food in a small little system. This is approximately 1.2 meters high, half a meter wide, and a little over a meter long. So a little courtyard area can easily do this to be able to have some food security, to be able to get your confidence happening on how to build an aquaponic system and where to start, so that then you're much more comfortable and confident to build your bigger system. How awesome is that? What a great way to start a little barrel aquaponic system. Go and check out how to build your own. Doesn't take long.